Hello friends, in this video I'll tell you how to protect yourself from editing in Excel. If you find this video useful, like and subscribe, support this video and channel, thanks a lot and let's get started. We'll consider two options. In the first option, we protect all cells on the sheet from editing. In the second option, we leave cells where data can be entered and worked on while protecting the rest of the cells. So let's consider the first option. We open the required sheet and go to the Review tab on the ribbon. Here we find the icon Protect Sheet, click on it and we get the opportunity to enter a password, as well as set access levels, for example, allowing the deleting or inserting columns and rows, and much more. But we won't touch these parameters, we'll just enter the password 123 and confirm it. Now, when we try to edit cells, we will receive a warning that they are protected. Now, for option number two, we remove the protection. For example, if we want to leave access to cells A1 to C3, we select this range. Right click, go to the cell format menu, then to the protection tab, and check the locked box and click OK. Then we click Protect Sheet again, enter the password, confirm it, and now we can enter any numbers, formulas, and etc. into the selected cells, while all other cells will be protected from changes. If you want to protect the entire workbook, that is, prevent change to the structure of sheets, editing or deleting sheets, then you protect the workbook itself. To do this, choose Protect Workbook, enter the password, and confirm it. And now, for example, we cannot delete or add sheets to the document. Now you know a little more. Thanks for watching.